Hey guys, Elgazor 4816 and I just want to do a quick video on uh, how to break this weapon down. This is the Model C9 made by High Point, it's a 9mm. Um, but like I said, I just want to go over a quick uh, breakdown and reassembly of this weapon. Uh, things you're going to need for the breakdown of this weapon is you're going to need like a small flathead or you know small screwdriver and something to knock a pin out with obviously something small enough something hard enough knock the pin out uh, I'm gonna go over that right now so first things first you're gonna safe to check the weapon you know there is nothing in this weapon there is nothing in the magazine and there we go all right so first things first well second thing now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock the slide back All right now if you can see right here there's a pin that goes in there oh well, there's a pin that's in there I already took mine out because it was a pain in the ass but there's a pin in there what that pin does that's the retainer uh, the slide retaining pin uh, what that does it holds the slide retainer to the actual uh, to the uh, the frame of the gun so what you're going to do is you're going to take your punch or your screwdriver boom 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 with your hammer or what have you right you're going to take this pin out this is exactly what the pin looks like small little retain uh, pin now the second thing you want to do is you want to unlock the slide take the slide all the way back to the uh, rear of the frame and then you're going to lift up when you lift up you hear a little click that's just uh, your retainer pin uh, your slide retainer coming from the frame which is right there there's your slide retainer and that is the hole that it was sitting in all right now watch out for the uh, recoil spring because that and the guide rod are going to be flying all over the place if you don't take your time be careful all right here's your slide now here's your recoil spring and guide rod and as you can see the barrel is fixed to the frame okay so now we got your recoil spring out frame is dislodged from your slide now the next thing we're gonna do is look at the slide now here's your slide retainer we're gonna slide that out you can see there's an opening in the back of the slide. We're just going to slide that out. I've also heard this called a uh, doll's head. I guess it kind of looks like a doll's head. But uh, take that out. Doesn't matter which way you put it back in, both sides are the same. Um, so don't worry about that. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to see this is your firing pin assembly. Right? Now, what you're going to want to do, just catch the whole assembly which is just like a spring two spacers and a uh, and your striker your uh, firing pin uh, I've seen a lot of videos and uh, looked at the schematics on a couple of them some of them are actually different you know considering the caliber and uh, actually I've seen a couple of C9s that are different but that being said now your slide is uh, completely disassembled there's your firing pin everything all right now, I would do a video on how to take the whole bottom, the whole frame apart and everything, but uh, that's just, I guess, up to you guys. If you want me to, I, I will do a video on that. It's not that difficult by any means. It's just uh, I want to make these, kind of, these videos kind of short. But if you want me to make one, I will make one. All right, so, I mean, the basic cleaning aspect of the part now, uh, it's actually quite simple, and it's... Uh, Kind of fun too. What I use is a little Q-tip, right? You know, I, I use REM oil. I know a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people have a thousand different things that they like, this and that, whatever. Uh, it works good for me. I don't see any problem with it. But I like to uh, put a little couple of drops on there, and where the firing pin and retain, uh, slide retainer go, I like to stick the Q-tip in, roll it up and then just go back and forth, clean it inside, blah, blah, blah. 
right? And uh, then what I like to do with the firing pin and everything, I like to get a couple of drops on a little cleaning cloth and just clean it up real nice, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then also I, I do the springs, everything, you know, the recoil spring and the guide rod, all that good stuff. But uh, now we're gonna talk about putting the gun back together. Okay, so you got your slide. Now what you wanna do is get your, uh, your firing pin and your firing pin spring, put all that together, like that, and just slide it right back into its uh, little housing. Next thing you wanna do is get your slide retainer, doll's head, and you're gonna place it right in the hole, just like that. Like I said, either way, it doesn't matter how you put it in, there's no specifics. All right, and then the next thing you wanna do is you want to put your recoil spring back under the barrel. Has a nice little seat for it. Now this is where it becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass because what happens is, uh, oh wow, look at that. Everything just slid right out because I was being stupid. But um, what happens is this guide rod and spring like to fly right out of the front of here. They fly out just because they didn't make this gun that great, I guess. I don't know. But what I like to do is I like to put my finger in the hole. Don't make fun of me. I like to put my finger in this hole. And then I put the, uh, the barrel through the hole. I, try, I, like, I like to try to, but see what happens is the guide rod and spring, I'll show you, that's what it'll do. It'll come flying right out. All right, so if you put pressure with your finger, get it nice in there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna push the slide all the way back, right? Come down with it, like that, and then come forward. And there goes the little retaining pin. You know why that slid out? It's because I was being stupid, I forgot to tell you. Okay, when all this is in and you have your uh, spring in, like I was saying in the very beginning, is that is where your slide retainer will go, which is this doll's head. Right there's the bottom of it that needs to go into the frame. I wasn't paying attention. That's why I was saying this gun is kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. But then again, that's just carelessness. All right. So now we have the slide retainer in the frame. Now the uh, slide, the upper, is connected to the frame. Now the second, the last thing that you need to do. Get this slide all the way locked in. Grab this pin, put it in the uh, the hole, and just knock it back in. That way, you are 100% complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you uh, keep a lookout because I'm gonna have tons of videos coming out. If you guys liked my uh, mistakes and everything that I did on this one, well then uh, you should subscribe. This is Elgazar4816. Signing out.